This video is about something epic. Imagine you're building a car, but you want to make the fastest car with the most efficient parts. Our brains can only design or imagine so much. But at Dubai Future Labs, they've worked out how to get AI to literally grow new designs. And safe to say, they're out of this world. In Dubai, engineering pioneers Dubai Future Labs and Leap 71 are reinventing the process of invention. When it comes to computational engineering, it's a significant step in people's thinking, especially engineers. A few years down the line, what is clear, at least to us, that it would be very difficult for people to even fathom going back to the old way of designing manually a mechanical piece. Dubai Future Labs, it's all about innovation and creativity. It's a fully fledged capable prototyping shop. But that's what we have here in the lab. But sometimes engineers like Alex run into problems that limit their creativity. When you design something, you start off with an idea. Once the idea develops in your, in your head, you would come in and put it to paper. Do the several iterations until you have a more refined shape, and then you transfer that over into a digital software. We believe we can create new toolboxes, which will allow us to bypass the constraints of traditional softwares and traditional ways of engineering. When it comes to innovation creativity, you really have to look at every little aspect of the whole assembly. It's difficult to do that most times because you're working with parts you're buying from the market, which has already been pre-manufactured or pre-designed. If you were to take away that issue of supply chain and the right size and the right motor, and you can really just design parts which match exactly for the application. Then you can go into a whole new fleet of design ideas. Creating bespoke parts for every piece of a machine. Sounds efficient. How do you do this? My name is Josephine, I'm an aerospace engineer and I'm running a high-tech company in Dubai called Leap71. Engineers are manual laborers. They draw objects and if something is not right, they have to draw it again. And if you have to work on something complex, well, you draw it 20 times and it will take very long. We try to solve that by encoding engineering knowledge into algorithms which then can automatically go through this laborious drawing process. And by doing so, we can speed up the creation of new objects 100 times, 1000 times. What the engineers need to provide me is basically uh, the underlying logic of the object that they want to create. So that can be the size range, what is the needed power output, what other constraints do we have. And you don't really know what the shape will be at the end. You just encode the rules of how something needs to grow. So by giving parameters to AI and telling it what kind of objects it needs to make, it can work out the best shape and design for the purpose. This new field which we are now helping develop, it falls under computational engineering. It no longer limits humans to their imagination when creating new objects. How does the process work? Think of it as a bunch of nodes, each node representing one component of the overall system. So let's say we have a rover system, then there's one component for a wheel, one for the power unit, one for the frame, and um, in my software, I link them up so that they can speak to each other. Which means that if someone comes and says, oh, we need a different frame, some values change, it will propagate through this network that I've built. This system creates new possibilities for engineers and allows them to interact with their designs like never before. You have digitized knowledge and you can play with it. You can play scenarios and say, what happens if I do this? How would it look like if I do that? And then we sit back with the engineers and we say, does this direction make sense? Or should we go this direction? You don't dig down on one design, you look at a full range. It's like evolution in a sense, but in a digital format. And it's not just the concept of computational engineering that will blow your mind. The AI generated designs are like something you've never seen before. You never know what humans are capable of. Once we see an opportunity or people working on the computational engineering like LEAP, it is our role to enable it and support more of these activities to happen. The elegance about these objects is that every detail on the geometry comes from a logical process. Think about nature, think about uh, a piece of grass. There's nothing on there which is irrelevant to, the, to its cause. 
And this innovation has come at just the right time to take advantage of the recent 3D printing revolution. By being able to really, really utilize the capabilities of 3D printers and advanced additive manufacturing equipment in today's world, we can now transform these computational ideas into real-life components. We have an opportunity to expand the horizon of Dubai to look and participate in technical topics. This is the future that Dubai is looking forward to assimilating.